The following feature is now available Owl Perch. Is it English or is it Japanese? Okay. Fallen units rise again after the battle ends. Oh, it actually has Fire Emblem casualties? Fallen units are lost forever, chapter 4 and onward. Every decision counts. You can change the game mode from the settings menu, but it cannot be changed from casual to classic. So I only get one shot. Um... I think our first playthrough we should do casual. I haven't played Fire Emblem games in a while. And this is not your average Fire Emblem game either. Take more time to examine the strategic information like level up stats, mission briefs, and mid-battle tutorial windows. Quick and efficient. Keep the action flowing, turning off level up windows and mission briefs. Only important tutorials will appear. You can just let me study. too much. All this bloodshed. Will it never come to an end? Maybe one day, Raven. Yeah, I haven't gotten a chance to play that one yet. You got a new jobs in your list, man? Oh, what do you do, man? I know you're napping around here somewhere. On your feet and back to work already, yeah? You install floor tiling? Nice. Ugh, finally. Come on, sunshine. Up and at him. We get to create. All right. Um, Vinny, should I be a boy or a girl? Be a hot chick? Okay. Easy peasy. I'm glad. I'm glad you had the same thought I did. <laughs> hey, get up already. Oh, mm, sorry, what's going on? What's going on? Did your head spring a leak while you were napping? Better see if you can even remember your name. Get ready for her to be the next in the next Smash Bros game, by the way. Shez? That's the, gonna be the default name they have for her. Just be Chris? Okay, I'll be Chris. Ah! Well, looks like there's hope for you yet. I feign indignance. Apologize. Oh. Back off, you sack of guts. I'm just resting up for the battle. Damn. Yeah, well, the I have voice acting. Doorstep, so you're lucky I like you enough to wake you. You heard who we're up against, yeah? Gerald's mercenaries. Gonna be one hell of a fight if true. Especially if the Ashen Demon is. I'm here. actually impressed Don't that like the creative character has voice acting. Or was it a woman? 
to you to fumble the details. Did you even catch this Ashen Demon's name? Of course I did. It was... I... By the goddess, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Select the Ashen Demon form. This looks like the character in Smash Bros. Now. What's her name? Does it start with a B? Should this be a male or female? <laughs> Do I need new floors? I rent. I don't I don't buy a house. Not yet anyway. So that's not up to me. <laughs> I'll make the bat the demon form be a dude. Byleth, that's what it was. Chris, you want me to be this one? All right. Should I just name this one Hamkins or should I name it Chris? Or should I name it Vinny? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Demon or no demon, our job is to fight and win. <laughs> you sound just like the captain. I know they paid up front, but come on. Well, at least one of you has some courage. You've certainly come a long way since I plucked you from that mountain village. You need the jobs? That's not my but call. It's not my house. It's about more than just victory. Gerald's team has a sterling reputation. Rumor has it they've never blundered even a single job. But once we put them to rout, we'll finally be the greatest mercenaries in all of Leicester. Enemy activity detected, Captain. Looks like we'll be fighting by moonlight. Mind you don't kill each other in the dark. Wasn't expecting a fight so soon, but I guess there's nothing for it. You ready? Push some luck, press your own ease, try to lighten the mood. When this is over, we'll all greet the new dawn together. <laughs> you sure are a cocky little thing. But yeah, alright. I'll be there. Alright, let's get down to business. We're up against Gerald's mercenaries. Move the camera, dash. Let's move out. Drive them straight into their graves. Good time to see what you're made of. See how it gets and Leslie, it's defeat nearby enemies. Regular attacks after a regular strash. Yep, yep. Come on, yep. up much of a fight. Are these guys new recruits or something? Guess this means I can mess with them a little. Every class has its own unique class action. Chris is currently a uh, Myrmidon. Hold to charge the class gauge and release it to perform a sweeping attack. You can move while charging. Press and hold during strong attack to reduce the charge time of the next class action. Can I get health bars on the enemies? I don't- oops. I don't like that they don't have health bars. Guess that's that. I stake tougher than this. Guard dodge. Hey you! Clear out that group over there! When an arrow is displayed over an enemy, you can click the stick to lock onto them. While locked on, the camera will stay focused on your target and move left and right to change targets. During missions, you'll be tasked with various missions. Main missions must be completed in order to win. Come out R, press R to dismiss the quick menu one. Which with quick menu one, 
displayed use combat arts and magic okay you cannot use the same combat art or magic multiple times in a row instead you must wait for a certain amount of time using combat arts and magic will reduce your weapon's durability if its durability gets too low you will be unable to use corresponding combat arts and magic durability will be restored at the end of the fight okay. raid strike and grounder I supposed to be moving? I think my controller bugged out. Oh, I think it died. Shit. Or nice. There's gotta be a way to get health bars. Display enemy HP gauges. It is on. Battlefields contain bases controlled by forces in battle. They serve as an origin point for each side's soldiers. You can capture a base by defeating the base captain. Train the Stronghold's Captain's Stun Gauge and defeat them with a critical rush. At times, the Stun Gauge will appear over an enemy commander's head. Continue attacking to completely deplete the, the gauge and then press X to perform a critical rush. The Stun Gauge displays when you land certain attacks against the enemy or when the enemy performs certain moves. The Stun Gauge displays when hitting an enemy's offensive combat arts. So Semantic is keeping a perfect guard. An enemy is preparing to use combat arts and attack knocks an enemy back. Battlefields contain the strongholds that are controlled by the various forces engaged in battle. Enemies and allies alike will slowly regain HP while in the stronghold under their own control. You can capture a stronghold by defeating the stronghold captain. Pick up crystals to restore your weapon's durability. Okay. Teeth showed up, but they still don't stand a chance against Burling's mercenaries. Many the Ashen As Demon is here. Sight, you must be the infamous Ashen Demon. I can't wait to tear you apart. This will be the end of the Ashen Demon. No one can beat the captain. What? 
Leslie has died. When your warrior gauge is full, press A to unleash a warrior special. To fill the warrior gauge, deal damage, enemies take damage, pick up. Get to Vinny. Vinny, stop slaying my fucking friends, bitch. Broke my block instantly. I'm probably dead. Oh, oh. <laughs> why am I so scared? It's just one merc. Run, run while you can. Gets us dead. Great. world. I will not allow it to perish with you. I'm a super saiyan. You can go fuck yourself. Did you run away like a pussy? Wow! That was sick. <laughs> power sorry but this fight is over hey wait why we've achieved our goal your job was to stop us and you failed <sighs> another time perhaps hey we're not done here why, why am i so tired boobs
Huh? Where am I? Oh, good. You're awake. Not sure I would have been able to sleep at night with your <laughs> blood on my hands. Ask the name. What's going on? Try to place the voice. Am I dead? No, not yet. And you're not a good listener either. Did I not just say how pleased I am that you're still alive? Regardless, I'm a being who exists on the edge of dreams and reality. You may call me Arval. Arval, huh? But for now, let me speak plain. You are slated to die. Right now, I'm the only thing holding your meager life together. And to be blunt, it's beginning to tire me. Um, thank you? Oh, oh my. That's the first time anyone has ever shown me gratitude. And I must say, I like it very much. Hear me well. You are a crucial piece of this world's cyclical... Yeah, uh, no, this will never do. You're far too groggy to absorb what I'm saying. For now, I needn't tell you how you'll get back on your feet. I need only convince you that you will. Must be a dream. Back on my feet. I don't understand. I'm already up and about. Ah, perhaps here you are. But not in reality, where it counts. <laughs> Your cluelessness is actually quite charming. I think you're starting to grow on me. Still, the important thing is what you do after you wake. And what should that be? Recall, please, how the Ashen Demon bested you. Came within an inch of snuffing out your life. If you attempt the fight again the same way, you will reach the same conclusion. This would force me to step in once more, which would be most annoying and also rather counterproductive, if I'm honest. I swear not to lose next time Vadu comes from. You don't need to worry. I won't lose next time. Although, who's to say when that time will come? Who indeed? My captain and comrades are dead. The company is finished, so there's only one thing I can do. Start over. Huh. I thought you to be more sentimental. Did they not take you in? Care for you? Gold's the only thing that ever held us together. And death is something we're all too used to. I never knew my real parents, and I lost the mother who raised me. Parting's just come easy to me, I guess. The best way to honor my fallen comrades is by training hard and growing even stronger. Then I'll crush Geralt's mercenaries and the Ashen Demon with them. That's what I'm going to live for now. Oh, but I like your spirit. Though I expected no less from my partner in destiny. I'm sorry, what? Yes, I suppose that was a bit sudden. I should remember, take intimacy in smaller steps. The point is that I'm here to guide you. And I promise to help you find the strength to see your dreams realized. Chance encounter. Oh. A chance encounter. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a goddess, has existed for uncountable ages. Now, three ruling powers control the land. To the south is a region held for more than a thousand years by the Adrestian Empire. To the north is the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. And to the east, a league of nobles that bends no knee rules the Leicester Alliance. Though once consumed in war, these three powers now exist in relative harmony. Nestled between them is Garrig Mach Monastery, seat of the Church of Seros, the land's widely practiced faith and a power that helps to maintain peace across the continent. Not far from the monastery, at the northern edge of the empire, is a small village called Ramire, and west of this place stretches a forest where a lone mercenary awaits. Hey, wake up! Ugh, how many times must we do this? Get up already! Huh? That's weird. I could have sworn I heard someone calling me. 
It's still dark out, though. Hello, yes, I was calling you. Many times, I might add. <sighs> Come on, I told you not to sneak up on me like that. As if I have a choice. Do you know how many times you would have died by now if not for me? I'll tell you. 22. The three times you leapt off a cliff to quote unquote get tougher saved you. Those five mad attempts to dispatch a horde of monsters by yourself saved you. And tonight, despite my repeated warnings, you took the wrong path and ended up having to sleep on a bed of leaves in the middle of the woods. Defend yourself. Think about your mistakes. Apologize for your actions. Uh, uh. Hey, you could at least let me pick my own directions. Though I admit I might have taken a wrong turn. Finally, some humility. That's almost reassuring. I was starting to think you were incapable of self-reflection. At any rate, we all make a few mistakes along the way. And by we, I mean you. And by a few, I mean far, far more than average. Now then, with that out of the way, would you like to know why I've roused you from your mud-caked slumber? Actually, it's probably easier to show rather than tell at this point. Look over there, if you would. Hmm? Stop plowing ahead, Claude. You're going to get us lost. Lost, schmast. We've got it on imperial authority. Am I gonna pick is the way to the which village. empire I want to go with first? <laughs> True, I said there was a village, but how could anyone know where it is in the thick of these mountains? I can't even say for certain where we are in all this gloom. Okay, new plan. I'll rely on my keen senses to navigate. Lucky for you, they're sharp as an arrow. Hold, both of you. Someone's here. Another bandit, perhaps? They're mistaking you for some common backwater thief. What cheek. Well, hold on there. I'm no bandit. I'm a mercenary. Well, that makes everything better. A bandit would be far less out of place in these woods than a sellsword. What brings you here? We've no time for an interrogation. Our pursuers are closing in. I don't know who you people are or what you want, but I think introductions can wait. You clearly need every blade you can find, and my pockets have been feeling awfully light lately. What do you say? Well, since you're here, do Look you mind stepping in and helping us chase oh, I, these I got some dual swords now. Don't worry about payment. You'll receive plenty of coin. If we survive, that is. Defeat the thieves, clear the way. Christian's clashes is now a flugel. Chris learned a unique ability. There are three types of unique abilities action, support, and tactical. During battle, press LX to check the class and unique abilities of the unit you are currently controlling. Oh, what? Oh. oh, okay. Flugel is badass compared to whatever I was using before. This move is great. <laughs> Pick up resource pouch. You'll require resources like greens and ore after the battle. The value of okay. uh, random loot drop, basically. The Iron King thieves, Kostos. Do you go now? I remember you get off. You used to get off early, so I work at nights now. So I usually, if I do stream, I, I sometimes go crazy and stream 24 hours. Um, this is not going to be the case today. Um, I'm probably just going to play for like an hour or two and then probably call it. So I got plans tomorrow. Advantage advantage icons will be displayed on the mini map or above enemy commander's heads when you have an effect that offers you an advantage against them. The more advantageous effects you have against the enemy, the more up arrows there will be. The easier it will be to decrease their stun gauge. The enemy will also get knocked back more easily when attacked. 
Advantage can be determined by class. Check class abilities on the status screen to see detailed information on which classes have a strong advantage against which enemies. Being a fighter class equipped with an axe. Oh, the guard has a strong advantage against Lance class. Oh, they have the advantages from the game. Okay. Yeah, there's weapon advantages. Yeah. Let me show you a trick for dealing with heavily Oh, wait, did I just change characters? No, I'm her. Step, How do I switch back? D pad? Take a breather. D pad. Watch this. My turn. Well, I suppose my turn has a lot. You can also select a unit control from the order screen. Okay. Dimitri is a soldier class with a strong advantage against swords wielding enemies. To switch to him using swords. Okay. I've awaited this moment. What is he? Halberd? Spear class? Or he's Lance class. Was you or me? Just who are Take these people in the raider? All three of them have crests. Units with crests can trigger crest effects. Under certain conditions, you can find details about crest effects by selecting details on the status screen and hovering over the crest name. What's wrong with you? They're just a bunch of brats. Stop embarrassing yourself and stand your ground already! <laughs> Is it quad time? Oh, that's sick. Look time. at this mobility. Oh, it's limited though. It's still pretty good. Extra effective attacks. A weapon, combat, art, or magic that is extra effective gives a huge advantage against specific enemies. You have three tiers greater advantage against enemy. You will deal greater damage. The stun gauge displays upon all attacks. Examples of skills that grant extra effectiveness. Effects against armored units. Cavalry, flyers, and monsters. Okay. Flying classes such as Pegasus, Knights, and Wyvern Riders are vulnerable to the ability effective first flyers. Switch your active unit to Claude, who has the bow equipped. Okay. So this guy is a flyer. Oh, so we roll Claude. Watch this! Ow. No problem, I got it. As usual. The rain of arrows. I always thought bow users in this game in these kind of games were kind of weird. It's weird to get used to, but the combat is flashy. It would be wise to move through the forest and take down the strongholds as we go. Try and keep an eye on who we're fighting and make sure we've got the right person leading the charge at the right time. How do I leave? Press D pad during the issue orders from here. You can use A to select units and issue orders. Oh, okay. So I can tell them where to go. Okay, cool. Movement, select a location, attack an enemy, capture, guard allies, heal using. Volneer. Uh, Vulnerables. You can use auto combat to determine the course of action for units. You don't give direct to orders. All right. So this guy really strong against that guy. So he's gonna go. Let's try this. Here. Let's see how this goes. Uh.
So I guess here. Here I go. No mistakes. Here. They must learn who they're. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to you have to issued orders to all your allies. Use Chris to capture the remaining strongholds. You can switch between the orders and battle screens. Okay. So now I'm just going to go to the main camp in the middle of here. And we are good. Char. Break pots, you find battlefield to receive on the battlefield to receive gold. Recover items depending on the color of the pot. This is just going to be healing potion. Sure to heal if you're hurt. Press R, B to use Vulnerary to restore your HP. Your available number of Vulnerarys will be refilled at the end of the play. Okay. We managed to contain things here. Wow, they killed them fast. I thought I was gonna have to control them to do that. Pick up tonics. That ought to unravel their defenses. Enough of this strategy nonsense. Well, that's cool. They're reliable. I don't have to be controlling them to be able to do stuff. Okay, how many thugs does this guy have working for him anyway? <laughs> Alois. Repent, foul bandits. The Knights of Seros are here, and we'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. This battle is practically won if the Knights are right. The Knights of Seros! Not now! If I don't kill at least one of them, Brat, I'm finished! Watch out! They're gonna make a last-ditch effort to rush our position. Select all out offense from the orders in the available units will attack a selected target. This is a good option for when you simply want to overwhelm the enemy force. Order an all out offensive against Costa. So I go to Costa and then hit. I've got this. So that is the StarCraft F2 button. All units button. <laughs> I have disadvantage, so I want to switch to this guy. This is where you die, dogs. Sorry. Easy. I've awaited this moment. When awakening engages, fill or press R A to awaken. Your units will remain awakened until the gauge is depleted. You can press R A to cancel the awakened state. While awakened, all attacks will make stun gauge appear. The stun gauge will deplete quickly regardless of advantage. You'll receive bonuses based on the number of enemies defeated. Your HP will not reach zero regardless of damage you take. Pick up executor of critical rush, damage enemy, okay. Press A while awakened to, or completely deplete the awakened gauge to trigger a warrior special at the end of the awakened state. You cannot switch to another unit while being awakened. It appears okay. I've hit my stun. Now some real death. Oh, I up. Gotta keep aiming higher. If your units can experience leveling up your units and improving their stats, unit stat growth will depend on their individual qualities. Hit points, strength, magic, dexterity, speed, pluck, defense, resistance, charm. Text to drain rate of battle lines and during. Okay. Do you feel that power? Maybe you can train it like you did in the other battle. Afraid we must spare no mercy for you. 
You'll stay up with you if it's only an hour and two? Yeah, it's probably only been an hour or two. I mean, I'm gonna be playing uh, Final Fantasy over? 14 with Jackie tomorrow. After battle, the battle rank will grade you based on your performance in battle. There are five ranks. Yep. Yep. First time rewards, you also receive an S. For the first time, you achieve S rank as your result. Okay. Gotta keep aiming. I won't let myself stop here. The unit who performed the best in battle will get MVP experience. Cool. Leveling up combat arts and magic. Combat arts and magic will level up after they have been used a set number of times. This will make them stronger, reduce weapon durability loss when they are used. So you do want to spam them. Gotcha. Any units participating in a battle will receive class experience post-battle. If this raises their class level, they may acquire new combat arts, magic, and abilities, and their weapon level may increase. When units' level weapon level increases, they'll be able to equip more powerful weapons. They'll be able to attack more times consecutively. After battle, you'll be able to check the contents of weapon packs and resource pouches you acquire in battle. If you reach your inventory limit, excess items will be sold off automatically. Stat boosting items give stat boosts to select unit. You can use stat boosting items by selecting storehouse from the pause menu. Okay. Increases permanently increases resistance by two. Oops. Oh, I just that's just the items I got, not how to use them. You're seriously the Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance? Yes. And as the three of us are now in your debt, I think formal introductions are in order. My name is Edelgard von Hressfeld, Princess of the Adrestian Empire. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And I'm Claude von Regan, grandson of the leader of the Leicester Alliance. Things looked grim there for a moment. Thanks to you, we put those bandits to flight. Bit of a miracle we ran into you out there, but hey, I'll take it. Boast loudly of your heroic deeds, play it cool, claim it was a team effort. Play it cool. Oh, I'm sure the three of you could have handled the situation just fine without me. No need for false humility. We'd likely have perished if not for your help. Well, aren't they an unlikely trio? I wonder why those bandits were after them. Still, it's no concern of ours. We have our own plans to attend to. Now, collect your pay and be off before they get a wild idea and ask you to join them. Say, while I have you here, do you know where I can find Ramayar Village? I took a wrong turn somewhere along the way. I'm looking for a band of hardened mercenaries who follow a man named Gerald. I hear rumors that's where they're camped. Actually, Ramayar might just be the village we've been looking for, too. That ring a bell, Edelgard? I don't remember hearing anything about Mercs, but... The name sounds correct, at least. Gerald's too smart to get smoked out by a bunch of rumors. But they're all I've got at the moment. In any case, we won't find our own two feet in all this dark. We should return to camp and get our bearings before... Hello there, house leaders. Hello, brave mercenary. We've mopped up what's left of those rascals. So what say we return to camp? And I insist you accompany us, good mercenary. Who, me? You heard the man. We'll wait out the night together and make for the village in the morning. It's a great plan, especially if you want to get paid, as we're a tiny bit short on pocket change at the moment. Yes, and those mercenaries you're looking for? Gerald's band, was it? They may be in Ramire village tonight. There's no telling when they'll move on. If you come back to our camp, we have maps that may help you get one step ahead of them. This is clearly the wisest course of action. Not to mention that I would enjoy conversing with you further. But of course, the choice is yours. Do I have a choice? <laughs> Does, do they really let me decline? Ugh, why can't things ever be simple? Alright, 
but just for the night. Perfect. Then might I borrow you for a moment after we reach camp? There is a matter we must speak about. Nothing alarming, I promise you. Right then. So off we go. But, um, if I may, did I hear you mention a Gerald earlier? Yes. Do you know him? He heads up a pretty elite band of mercenaries. So I imagine his name has spread all over Fodlin by now. Mercenaries, is it? No. No, it can't be him. Can it? Well, I'll just have to meet this Gerald myself. After I've seen my duties through, of course. After all, if I don't finish my assigned tasks, I'm mission the point. Bad. Bad, bad, bad. Get it? Missing? Mission? Come now, this is good stuff! <laughs> That's our Alois. Come on, let's get moving before he really gets going. After a battle, you'll be able to interact with your allies back at the camp. Press A when near unit to talk. I don't want to talk. Hey! Welcome to our humble base camp. I assume you are familiar with the officers' academy on the grounds of Greg Mag Monastery. If yes. The three young people you assisted earlier are the heads of the academy three houses. But you'll find the other students, teachers, and even members of the Knights of Seros here at this camp. I fear you caught us in the middle of an annual outdoor activity carried out at the beginning of the academy school That's year. That's concerning. But the situation becomes quite the mess when that band of brigands attacked us. I wish we could chat at length, but it seems the three class heads wish to speak Let's with see. you. Alas, I cannot keep you all to myself. This is a great opportunity for you to bond with your rescues. Rescuees. Thanks. Hey friend, appreciate what you did back there. We'd have been in a world of hurt without you. Oh, and regarding compensation, Alois told me not to pay you personally. I guess they want to handle it as a church thing? Sorry about that. Tell him you understand. Oh, I was fine. Hey, as long as I get- uh, crap, there's friendship in this too? Hey, as long as I get paid, I don't care who's handing over the <laughs> coin. Ha, huh, you're definitely a mercenary, alright. Support points signify the strength of a spawn between two units. Units gain support points by giving appropriate answers in conversation, performing actions that make the other happy, or heading into battle together. Speaking of... Speaking of which, have you talked to the others How's here that? at camp? I can tell you a little bit about the students in my golden deer house. Have you met him yet? At first, I thought he was real serious and persnickety, but that image shattered pretty quick once I noticed him chatting up every girl in the monastery. So he's a pimp? Cavalier. Hilda's the only daughter of Duke Goneril. Seems like she had a pretty cushy life growing up, which means she's gotten into the habit of slacking off and making other people do things for her. He's a pretty friendly guy. Though it'd be nice if he talked about something other than muscles. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. He's had it pretty rough. We're all level one. Do I recruit these guys? Don't ever treat her like a child. I made that mistake earlier and she nearly took my head off. But she's clearly the youngest out of this year's students, so I don't get what the big deal is. Just another pampered noble, I guess. Ignatz likes the great outdoors. Definitely more than the rest of us, anyway. He's the second son of a merchant family, but says he wants to be a knight. He doesn't really seem suited for it, though. Maybe his parents are making him do it. I hope you're paying attention, Vinny. I'm gonna quiz you after all this. Oh, Marianne? She's Margrave Edmund's daughter, but that's all I know about her. She doesn't interact with the other students at all. I'll admit, she intrigues me. Leone wants to be a mercenary. I bet you two would have lots to talk about. You're both pretty frank, too. I just hope you're not as obsessed with saving money as she is. Thank you. Ah, oh, there you are. Thank you for your assistance in the previous battle. I'd like to discuss your future if you have a moment. If you find yourself with no place to go after we accomplish our objective, I'm hoping we might hire you on with the what Empire. 
I can promise you'll be handsomely paid, including the work you did today, so what do you say? Aside later, ask why she wants to hire me. I'm not usually hired into service by people quite so high up on the food chain. Why is this special <laughs> attention? I value your talent now that I have seen the ability... Or, I've had the ability to see it firsthand. By the by, have you spoken with the others here in camp? If you'd like, I can tell you a little bit about the students in my own house, the Black Eagles. Hubert. Hubert of House Vestra is my attendant. His family is unusual in that they're noble, but lack territory of their own. Hubert is deeply loyal to me, and you can trust him completely. In fact, I imagine he's quite grateful for what you've already done. It's Professor Snape. That's what he looks like. <laughs> That's Dorothea Arnott. Oh, then he's sold. He's picking this. He picks this empire right here. Company. Or she was, at least. <laughs> for some reason, she abandoned her musical career and enrolled in the Officers' Academy. She has a very magnetic personality, which I'm sure you'll see. <laughs> Have you spoken with Ferdinand? One conversation will explain him far better than I can. He's the heir to an influential house, which drives him to excel. But he can be quite the handful sometimes. One of our classmates usually stays holed up in the dormitory instead of coming on these assignments. Her name is Bernadetta. If you bump into her, don't be surprised if she screams and runs away. That's sort of her thing. <laughs> Kaspar is the second-born son of a great and noble house. But as he's not the heir, you might say he joined the academy to make his own way. War and fighting are his sole pursuits, so I bet the two of you will get along just fine. Petra isn't from the Empire. She's the granddaughter of the King of Brigid, which is an archipelago situated off our western coast. You'll find her a quick study, a gifted fighter, and endlessly curious. But always come prepared to talk, because she'll definitely want to pick your brain. Surely you know someone like Linhart. He's as bright as they come, yet just as lazy as well. That's simply how he is, though. I can't force him to apply himself. But he'll come around, most likely. He's got a very, like, feminine face. Alright, last house we get to look at, go through their people, and then we gotta choose. You have my thanks. I first convey my gratitude to you, Chris. We are in your debt. Speaking of which... Do you have any friends or know anyone that might be in need of a nice new tile floor? I don't. I just... The only people around me are co-workers. <laughs> and we all live... Like, most of them actually st are staying at, like, hotels. Show surprise and thank him for the advice. Um, nice. Thanks! Appreciate it. I checked the map earlier, but couldn't tell where in the woods I actually was. Well, I'm glad. I could be of service. I hope you are able to reach your destination this time. By the way. You'll be staying until sunrise, yes? I hope you'll take the opportunity to converse with the others here. Of course, now that I've sprung the idea on you so suddenly, you'll likely find yourself at a loss to whom you ought to speak to. Also, Raven, do you do local or you do you travel? They just pay every day. Nah, so there's these extended stay at hotels. This dude at my job has been at this hotel for three years now, I think. <laughs> he pays monthly. It's almost like rent, basically, but... But you're in a hotel room, so you don't have, like, an oven. Your fridge is, like, a size of a, like... I don't know, it's tiny. It's like a mini fridge. Um, I, don't, I don't know how he lives there <laughs> for so long. But... I think he likes it because he has a cleaning lady and cleans his cleans his whole house for him basically every fucking week. Some guys are in Canada too, but not you. I got you. Is it cheaper than renting? Uh, I think I think some of them are. I know the price, 
like uh, the dude that I work with, his price has been like moved up and down a couple times depending on certain things, but he pays I think only like 600, I think a month. But he's he also saves money because he's not. I don't think he really has to pay for internet. He has the basic hotel internet, and, which sucks. You can't play games on that shit. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, you got the TV that they, you know, they provide you with. I don't know. That's not for me. I, when I first got here, I stayed with him in the hotel for like a month, and I, I was like, I gotta get my own place. I'm just, I'm just like, nah. <laughs> How about this? I would be more than happy to give you an introduction to any Blue Lion House students. Do you do? Do you do? Perhaps you've heard of it. He tends to keep to himself, but he possesses one of the kindest hearts of anyone I know. I'm proud to call him my vassal. Speak to him, and you'll see why. Felix is the son of Duke Fraldarius. He has a sharp wit and even sharper tongue, but he's a good person at his core. I can attest to that. He has always admired strength above all else in a fighter. I imagine the two of you will make fast friends. I only first met her here at the Academy. She seems a gentle soul with great inner strength. From what I understand, she has traveled far and wide throughout both the Empire and the Kingdom. Perhaps that explains her demeanor. Mercedes. I like her hair. In the far south of Fargus lies a manor by the name of Castle Gaspar. Ash is the adopted son of that castle's lord, Lenato. He's an honest boy, well deserving of our trust. I'd like to get to know him better someday, should the opportunity arise. Annette is the hardest worker in the entirety of the Blue Lion House. She is truly brilliant. I could stand to learn from her single-minded devotion, if only a little. Sylvain is the son of Margrave Gautier. You may have already noticed, but he's something of a womanizer. <laughs> that may be putting it lightly, in fact. But despite his apparent indifference, he possesses great cunning and is quicker on his feet than anyone else here. I've known him long, so I'm well aware. Ingrid is the daughter of Count Galatea, and she is far more gallant than your run-of-the-mill knight. She has ever been straight-laced and diligent, even when we were but children. It is not an uncommon sight to find her scolding Sylvain for his indiscretions. So which, which team are you thinking? Team Vinny? Team Vinny doesn't exist. Ah, oh, Chris, have you spoken with the house leaders That's yet? Concerning. What? You're leaving, but that won't do. Actually, I was hoping I could ask you something of you. Would you hear me out? Fuck no. My sincere apologies for asking this of you. I know you're heading for Remire Village in order to find Gerald's mercenaries, but, well, Perhaps you might consider changing your mind and accompanying us to Garagmach Monastery instead. And why would I do that exactly? Because you've done us a great service and we don't have the means in camp to properly reward you. At the monastery, however, we can repay your kindness in full. Also, between you and me, this evening's turn of events was quite the embarrassment for the church. We allowed students of the Officers' Academy out of our sight and house leaders of great political consequence at that. And then they cross swords with bandits. If word got out, well, let's just say it would sit poorly with everyone. So you see why we must ensure you are well compensated. Also, there may be some papers for you to sign. Perhaps in blood. This sounds more like hush money than a reward. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I told the fool knight who suggested it. Me, i just as soon send you on your way, but... I fear I'm obligated to escort you back. Anyway, the whole thing will be much easier if you simply agree to come along. Just as a formality, of course. I think that was a threat. 
And here I thought he was a big softy. Well, what do you think? Garrick Mock is in the opposite direction of where we need to be. But this man seems rather set on having us accompany them. Yeah, I don't think I got a choice. Agree that you have no choice. <laughs> said that you have no choice. Agree to go in the other You make a poor case, Aloise. But I can see where this is heading. I'll come with you to the monastery. But I'm not staying a single minute longer than I have to. Bless you, my friend. What a noble soul you are. I'd say you saved my bacon, but that would be utterly hammy. You said my name? <laughs> <laughs> Alois, has anyone ever told you that you're... Don't. Some truths are simply too painful to bear. <laughs> While I'm no expert, I fear the poor man's heart couldn't handle the shock. Hmm? Told me what? Told you how dashing you are in that armor. <laughs> Not just any man can pull off that look. Ah, you like it? Wonderful. I admit, I've received no small share of positive comments on it. There's a grand story behind every last ding and Debt. Enough to keep me talking for a week. Why take this one here? We heard you'll be joining us at Garrick Mock. Perhaps somewhat unwillingly, I might add. I know this wasn't in your plans, but if it lets us get to know each other better, perhaps it will prove worth it in the end. Unwilling or not, we've got a long road ahead, so let's try to keep the mood light. I hesitate to ask this considering you're only here because of us. But, well, are you sure about this decision? The last thing we want is to delay you from your own business. The knights may seem unwilling to bend, but it's not as if you have no say in the matter. I meant your lack of choice. Stand by your decision. Uh... No one gets a say when they're up against a squadron of knights. No, I suppose not. Apologies again for dragging you into this mess. Yes, yes, that's quite enough chatter. Let's save our energy for the road. To the monastery! Listen, I know this one's on me. I'm the one who roped you into coming back to camp after all. But I'll find a way to make it up to you, I promise. Thanks, Claude. I know you will. Hey, hurry up back there or we'll leave you behind. You know you've had a busy day when you rub shoulders with the heirs to the Empire, the Kingdom, and the Alliance. I think they're a fascinating group of people myself, but what do you make of them? Oligard Dimitri Claude. I like the girl. Seems like Edelgard thinks high enough of me. She's got this elegant air about her, but somehow doesn't hold any disdain for mercenaries. It feels like Dimitri's always checking in on me every chance he gets. He'll definitely make a good king. The kind who looks after his people. Do you think I have a good gig? Yeah, if you can do it anywhere. You can travel. Yeah, I think your gig's good. As long as you can pay the bills, man, that's all that matters. Claude's a laid-back kind of guy who doesn't really strike me as noble. And I mean that in a good way. Something tells me he's gonna be easy to work with. <laughs> of course you only pick up on their rosy qualities. You really are a delight. Have I told you that lately? Still, you better pick up the pace before you vex these people any further. Which team would you pick? Prologue. Vinny? Three houses. But not gas. Ah, oh, gas is a fucking nightmare right now, yeah, for anybody. Deep in the forest, the mercenary meets a trio of youths. Each a student at Garrig Mock's Officers Academy. And a but leader. You can get it written off, can't you? Houses. Since that your job requires you. Striking down the to get so much gas, I'm pretty sure you can get it. <laughs> brings undue attention to the mercenary, who soon arrives at the hallowed gates of Garrig Mock. Whatever team you're on. I have to pick what team I'm on. What would you pick? I think I picked Team Red. Team girl. I don't know. I wish I knew more on what they're what they're fighting for. Like what they want in the world. They kind of really didn't explain that too much. Or they did and I admit I wasn't paying attention in the beginning, I don't know. And with that, may I present the mercenary I spoke of. Greetings. My name is Rhea, and I am the Archbishop of the Church of Seros. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for rescuing our students. 
it was nothing. You take a job, you make sure it gets done. That's what a mercenary does. I see you do not lack for confidence. However, the reason we summoned you here was not simply to express our gratitude. We have a proposal for you. One made on behalf of the church itself. What kind of proposal? Someone told you of the officer's academy here at the monastery, yes? We would have you join this academy as a student. You what? Though you are a mercenary, I understand you are not currently beholden to any one particular employer. Also, the students you rescued are close to your own age. Your life could be greatly enriched here. Or she's heard about our power and wants to keep us on a short leash. And yet she's taking it almost as a given that we'll accept. It's infuriating. Turn her down, express interest in the offer. Turn her down. Sorry, but the world's got other plans for me. I can't afford to stay here forever. Oh, this would not be forever. You would only be enrolled for one year. Bear in mind that the Knights of Seros and many other powerful warriors pass through these gates. Whether you seek to someday become an officer or simply increase your own strength, this environment will undoubtedly aid in your pursuits. They've really talked us into a corner here. I think I see where this is going. All right. I'm in. A wise decision. We will do all we can to ensure you do not regret it. I believe you will go far. If I may, permit me to tell you a bit more about the school itself. The academy is divided into three houses and draws in the most promising young talents from every corner of Fodland. Some are noble-born, while others spring from more humble roots. But within these walls, all are treated as equals. We ask our prospects to spend a year living under the same dormitory roof so they can challenge each other, work hard, and grow together. Each of our houses corresponds to one of Fodlin's three regions. Boobs. Edelgard <laughs> leads the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Dimitri leads the Blue Lion House, home to students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And Claude leads the Golden Deer House for students from the Lester Alliance. We could select a house for you ourselves, but as all of this was our idea, perhaps we should leave this decision to you. You are something of a special case, after all. So I can join any house I want? Yes, you have simply to name it. A house for students from the Anderson Empire. Many are noble, and most of them use magic. A house for students from the Kingdom of Vargas. Most value chivalry and excel at military arts. A house of students from Leicester Alliance. That they lack in, that they lack in organization, they make up for in skill. I just wish I do. What they're fighting for. I really don't. Can I get more descriptions? Let's see. Adrestian Empire. Black Eagles. All right, Team Brad. Um, is the elite military force of the Idris and Empire formed by ex-students? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, history, here we go. This is the beginning year, multiple students residing in this enroll in the monastery, join the Black House, fighting along, depending on the player's choice. On Silver Snow is recruited on this previous student a oh, purpose. Grouping students from the Eastern Empire topple down the Church of Sarah's reunify. No, this is not kind of what I'm looking for. Anymore.
It kind of doesn't have like a description on what they... I guess we're just picking characters. <laughs> Red for sure. I mean, I think Red looks like that has like the best characters. Although the this team looks pretty good. This would be my second choice, I think. This one seems to have like the the less the least interesting characters. Join Edelgard's Black Eagles. Are you certain? Yep, that's the one. I'm sure of it. May you build wonderful and lasting friendships in your new house. Well then, with that taken care of, it's time to decide which of us will supervise which house. Yes, it turns out we just underwent a last-minute roster change. I guess you two haven't met. This is Professor Yuritsa, our weapons instructor. Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice meeting you, uh, sir. Don't load me up with too much homework, all right? <laughs> Do my ears deceive me? Or is that curiosity I hear in your voice, Professor Yuritsa? I thought all the houses were the same to you. Perhaps you should be in charge of our new student's house. Hmm? I don't care. You decide. Well, you'll certainly hear no objections from me. Professor Manuela, you and I can take charge of the remaining house. A lot of these voice actors, they voice act the Tales of games. What? It's decided already? Also. I was at least expecting a fight. Maybe some hair pulling? And as for you, my mysterious new student, I look forward to getting to know you much, much better throughout the year. The gall of these people making decisions for you. It's enough to make one's head spin. Uh, right. In any case, I'm looking forward to learning from you, Professor Yuritsa. I'll inform you of our first mission soon. Sorry, what mission? Oh, did we fail to mention that? Each month, every house in the Academy is given a mission entailing some form of service to the church. The students at the Black Eagle House are now playable. I get all these guys. I got two monks, a soldier, a fighter, another fighter, a Marmaden, another monk. We have three monks on this team. Well, what do you think? I believe there is a very good chance it will work. Perhaps, Lady Edelgard. But is that chance not outweighed by the danger of matters going awry? We have managed to walk the nice edge so far. But what you are suggesting is open hostility. If they so much as catch wind of our intentions, things will go sideways very quickly. Regardless, this is our last opportunity to save her. Frankly, it's a miracle we even have the chance. I thought you once proclaimed not to believe in miracles, Lady Edelgard. And I don't. At least not the kind one has to sit around and wait for. But right now, everyone is exactly where we need them. Her, the bandits, the string pullers, and the perfect instructor with the perfect mission. I'm going to make this miracle happen, and I will do so for our future. Hmm. Then we'd best have a plan in place to finish the job in case they catch on. I expected you to burn a few bridges, but this plan would be akin to setting half the countryside on fire. Which is exactly why I'm counting on you, Hubert, and why I'm grateful to have you by my side. Welcome to the Black Eagle House. I'm pleased you selected us. Whoa, wait, what? You're a student now? And not only that, you're one of us? That's great! Wait, stop! I don't know this person! Oh, why are there so many new faces? 
The blue hair dude sounds like the... Remember the... The son that you got to... Who was the monk also in Tales of Abyss? Was it Abyss? The last one that came out? That's what you get for skipping this year's first field excursion, Burn. A lot happened. There was even a bandit attack. Did you really not hear about any of this? Bandits? Extra glad I skipped out. I must say, the rise, yeah, that took one. a bold step in enrolling you. A decision which I, of course, <laughs> fully support. You helped Edelgard, and we stand to learn Shion. quite a bit from one so skilled. Yes, I have eagerness to examine the fighting of mercenaries. We should be sparring, one versus one. If anyone needs me, I'll be asleep and... Wait, hold on. Do you have a crest? Did Professor Hanneman even check? Oh, he checked all right. Sorry to say I'm certifiably crestless. Strange. You definitely seem the type. But I suppose I'm just imagining it. And now you know the rest of our house. As you already met some of us in camp, I assume you knew what you were getting into. We may not be perfect, but we support each other as best we can. Please try your utmost to get along with everyone. Here approaches Professor Yuritsa. That makes all of us. Remember your mission? We are to eliminate the remaining members of the Iron King's thieves that attacked our camp. The chief, Costas, has already been struck down. And now only a scattering of brigands remain. Even with our limited experience, we should be able to defeat them handily. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, Professor. Oh, he's gone. They, like, slowed down that guy's voice. So it would seem. It's weird. Right, then. We better get all of our waterfowl in a row. Wait, but I... I need to tell the professor I can't participate? Oh, good work, Bernie. Why didn't you speak up sooner? I know what you mean. I never even got the chance to break out my best. Leave it to me, professor. He's a real tough nut, that's for sure. Says just as much as he has to, then makes tracks. Uh... Well, the less you say, the greater your mystique. <laughs> True enough. There's not much charm in someone who talks your ear off at every opportunity. Whatever the case, I expect all Black Eagles to participate in this mission, including you, Bernadetta. You can do this, and I look forward to seeing our mercenary friend here in action. Why? Confidence far off. I won't let you down. Two weeks later. There you are, Yuritsa. I have word from the knights. It is time? Yes. The bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Rose land in the kingdom. But the knights have cut off their escape and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. We'll leave at once. I needn't remind you this is the first real battle for some of our charges. I trust you will keep them safe. Though I likely do not need to worry with an old hand like you at their side. No, you don't. You there. It's time for the mission. Gather the others. About time we saw some action. Oh, this game actually has a lot of cutscenes to it. I did not expect that. Lost sight of them. I like it though. A shame to admit it, but yes, it's possible someone magicked the bandits away. But why go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. Right, of course. We'll follow. Wait, what? We're leaving. Everyone, follow me. Professor, wait. Well, he must have some idea where the bandits went. Let's hurry after him. Pathetic. Professor Yuritsa, you shouldn't charge ahead like that. It's far too dangerous. Wait, what is all this? <laughs> Bandits! Dead by my hand. Yes, they look quite dead indeed. Are these the miscreants we were meant to deal with? How is one to tell? One uncouth ruffian looks much the same as any other. Do you know, Professor? Were you following some manner of lead? No, but it's them. They were trying to escape to that fortress. That fortress? Yes, Kaspar, that's what he said. Something you want to share? Nope. 
It just seems suspicious. You are something else, Kaspar. Still, I guess the place does look kind of suspicious. We're near the border of the Kingdom and the Empire, but that is no Imperial outpost. It's not the Kingdoms either, and they're not flying any kind of banner. I'm guessing it's a bandit hideout. Then give us allowance to be storming their base and crushing them under our feet. It might be a little dangerous for us to handle on our own, Petra. Yes, I mean, I agree. We should all, um, go home right now. But the bandits might be inside, and they must answer for their crimes. It is our noble duty to finish them off before they can bring harm to another soul. This isn't about nobles. It's about doing the right thing, period. And striking down evil is the Caspar way. Suggest you hold back, suggest you charge forth. Charge we'll forth. be heroes if we manage to take out an entire bandit outpost. This is the kind of stuff I live for. Since when are you so gung-ho? Oh, right. Since always. Enough. This is not our decision to make. Professor Yuritsa? The mission stands. Enter the fortress. Dispatch any bandits you find. There are no signs of life. We may be chasing ghosts. Professor, are you having the ability to speak with ghost spirits? It is just an expression, Petra. It means there is probably no one here. Ah, I am understanding now. You have my thanks. This language has much peculiarity some of the times. Well, if that's settled, let us make ready. Make sure you're prepared before we head out. Look how big this map is. Dang. Beat the thieves. A battle ends in victory when you fulfill the victory conditions. The ends and ends in defeat when you fulfill the defeat conditions. The route of important units such as the main character and house leaders will also result in defeat. These conditions can change during the course of battle. You can check the victory and defeat conditions in the battle prep screen by selecting battle details. Up the pause at you. So there's four of us. Cute. Okay. Mm. Oh, I didn't switch their spots. It's fine. I use the default spawns. We'll put the bandits to rout. Follow me. Press L to display the quick menu too. Approach an allied unit in LY to assign them to your adjourn. Press LY again to cancel their assignment. With an adjuvant assigned, active unit stats will be raised based on the adjuvant's class. With at least support level C, you will have access to the adjuvant's unique support and tactical abilities. Adjuvant follow up and guard and partner strategy will activate. You can change what button displays quick menu 2 from the button settings when you access this from the menu. Okay. You can also assign an adjuvant by selecting your desired adjuvant from the order screen, pressing ZR. Other selecting unit whom you like to assign. Okay. Press LA to switch the active unit for the adjuvant. Note that you can only switch playable units into the active position. So I kind of want to pair up my people, maybe. Careful! Do not let the enemies be ganging up on you. I'm not letting you pass. My life depends on it. Now we know who to kill to open the gate. The gatekeeper. Gates indicated by minuses on the map can be opened by defeating its gatekeeper, capturing the adjacent stronghold gates with X displayed will only open as the battle progresses. Fire magic attacks may inflict burning status. Units afflicted by burning will continually take damage. Additionally, if hit with a follow-up attack, they, must com they may combust. 
Greater elements effect of the damage, the greater the chance of flicking burning, causing combustion of the follow-up shot. Neutral. Right then. Just go with go to work. Just go with them this way. <laughs> All of these dead bodies are enough to numb the senses. Is that a treasure chest? Mm, yes. It seems we will need a key to open it. Ugh. I was all ready to grab a nice haul from that chest, and now those intruders are all over the thing. The bandit appears to be holding the key. Well, since I find chests on the battlefield, try to open them. You'll need the key. Find the enemy carrying the key, defeat it, obtain it. Some classes and units possess the ability to open chests without keys. Also, if the key enemy with the key gets near the chest, they may steal the treasure. Defeat them before they escape. Oh. I'm bringing it down. We we'll have these defenses crippled in short order. <laughs> Pick up a weapon pack and you'll require weapons after the battle. The weapon level depends on the color of the bundle, form best to worst. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, gray. Sacks contain broken weapons. So they already looted the chest. Music is great. I like it. Damn, this damage. <laughs> better inside the fortress than it was on the outside. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Let's do this. Ha ha ha! 
Just constantly rolling over and over again. They're taking over stuff themselves. I don't even. Takes care of securing the bandit hideout. Oh, the I chest is over there. Else concerns you, Professor. Search the basement. Something is amiss. here. She looks like an academy student? Another mage. Are you here to rescue me? Lady Edelgard! Monica, how did you... No, my questions can wait. Thank you for saving me. Don't let the girl escape, or Kranya will make us wish we were dead. It's not safe here. We must take the girl and run. Pudge. Pudge. I don't even know where to put myself for this game. Hi. Hmm? Maybe. Use the guard order from the order screen and select the units. Will guard and fight beside the specific target. This is useful against missions. Like Whoever they are, they seem to be targeting that student. It falls upon us to keep her safe, no matter the cost. Still improving. You demonstrate your strength anew. Witness our power. We'll do it together. I got you now. Protect Monica. There will be no way forward until we strike down these scoundrels. The way is clear. Come, we need to hurry. Sorry I'm slowing you down. The world is still a little wobbly at the moment. 
Watch this! Now's our chance to give him the slip! More bandits that eluded us. Leave none alive. Don't let the thief retreat. So just don't directly influence the outcome of the battle. Any of them might give you advantage in the battle or net you rewards. What eyes as they are. Uh, go back to me. She's just going. She's just going for it. <laughs> All right, let's get her going. Get your ass back here. Axe versus axe. Question of can. Only a matter of will. Leave. I'll take over. If I may. I am your man. Watch this. If I may. My turn. Uh, I just swapped. Oh, so they are one unit basically now. Their magic attacks may inflict spellbound status on enemies. Spellbound units move slowly and have reduced defense resistance. Further, more guarding will not reduce damage taken when spellbound. The greater elements of all. Oh, does that restore his stuff? That's cool. She's about dead. <laughs>
Oh, they killed her. You asked for it. Release the creature we captured. Wild demon beast. This is going to be trouble. On your guards, everyone. Monsters are huge enemies that require that require like on like. Uh, moral soldiers. When they are near a monster, its HP and weakness will be displayed at the top of the screen. Monsters are protected by four barriers. Barriers can be destroyed by using attacks that correspond to the monster's weakness, or by using an awakened attack destroying a barrier will inflict an armor break on the enemy. While a monster's armor is broken, it will be unable to act. Approach it and use the X to perform a critical rush and cause it to lose one HP gauge. Each time an armor breaks is triggered, you can get rare resources. The icons to the right of a monster's HP gauge indicate how many HP gauges it has. Depleting the monster's gauge will remove an icon. Once all the icons will be removed and its HP depleted, the monster will be immobilized. Approach the boss for to finish it off. Attacking force. You'll never defeat it alone. All the numbers in the world won't save you. Switch back to my character. Any beast I have ever encountered, it will be a grueling battle unless we combine our strength. Its strength is beginning to wane. Press the attack. Stand back. They defeated a demonic beast? Impossible! Talus isn't going to like this at all. You'll pay for this. You'll all pay! Snake escaped, but still, Monica is safe, and that's what matters. Ass. Gotta keep aiming high. I'm. Any experience is <laughs> I am the noble I won't let myself Well I got one star Whatever that means He is one turning away me break new boundaries. Learn the ability Carp Diem. Learn the combat art Windswept. When units class level increases, they gain new combat arts, magic abilities. These acquisitions can differ between units, even for those within the same class. Manage them from the convoy menu. What a fascinating power. Authority level D. Learn Spirited Seeds. I imagine this will serve me. You learn well. Thrust. This power will serve me in the times to come. Back on. 
So weapons have attributes. Attributes come in different or come into effect when the weapon is equipped. There are several different types. Multipliers of the same weapon can have different attributes. Battles with a high recommended level will afford you greater chance of acquiring a weapon with good attributes. However, some weapons will always have the same attribute. Okay. Air again for as long as I lived. Remember how hyped you were for a rise? You played at midnight and everything, and you haven't touched it since. I like 100% of that game. I want ham on that. It was, I'm not it was sure a great game. Say, except, thank you, everyone. The problem with games for me is I have a really, I have a pretty good memory. Like I can still pretty much remember everything that happened in a rise, <laughs> from like start to finish. How did you end up in such an awful place, Monica? This is where the fun is. Hello, welcome back. I heard you went missing in House Ox territory. I did indeed. In fact, I was tired, on the verge of graduation when I was kidnapped by the strangest people. If it's so good, why not go back? I mean, one day I'll go back, maybe. I'll play it. I'll play. I go through the Tales games, like, every, every so often to go to bed. Uh, I'm thinking about it. I'd probably just watch these cutscenes. Once we get to the next battle, I'll probably call it. Oh, how silly of me not to introduce myself. I'm Monica Von Ox. I'm the eldest child of Baron Ox, and one of your highness's most loyal subjects. Seeing as you saved my life, I plan to devote that very life back to helping your cause. You've not changed at all, though I do appreciate the enthusiasm. Monica was a black eagle in last year's class. One might say she's part of the old guard. I'm not sure how I feel about you calling people old. Hmm, yes. I think I understand. This all began when the knights lost sight of the bandits and you gave chase. Afterward, you entered a suspicious fortress and rescued a missing the student. The cutscenes make you sleepy. <laughs> They're actually pretty good. I, I like the story so far. Well... There's nothing wrong with that. I'll be sure to smooth things over for you once we're back. Sounds good. But, uh, why are you even here, Alois? Because the knights sent for help after you left them behind. Did you expect anything different? Not that I'm trying to lay blame at your feet. I know you were following Professor Yuritsa's lead. So I think everyone involved can head home knowing they did just swell. For as you know, all swell that ends swell. Ugh. Still, I find this a rather grave turn of events. To think the same bandits who attacked our charges were behind another student's abduction. Hmm? I never said I was kidnapped by bandits. You... you didn't? Now that I think on it, not everyone in that fortress was dressed like a common rogue. Perhaps the bandits were mere decoys while some other villain pulled strings behind the scenes. Agreed wholeheartedly, agreed half-heartedly. Oh, some other villain pulls you around the scene. Mm, yeah. I can't say for sure, but they didn't really strike me as your run of the mill bandits. I mean, that Kranya woman who slipped away seemed far stronger than you'd expect from common cutthroats. You're on the right path. Perhaps I should just tell you who kidnapped me, seeing as I already know. What? Why didn't you mention this earlier? Everyone was busy speculating, so it was difficult to cut in. What do you know, child? Out with it. Her Highness can vouch for this. But my memory is quite strong. Try remarkable. You never forget a face, even one seen only at a glance. Your Highness, I, um, thank you for the compliment. <clears throat> I'm certain of what I saw. The one who kidnapped me was surely Tomas, the librarian. Tomas? Tomas? Impossible. But Tomas has been at Garrick Mach even longer than I have. I don't want to believe it, but based on what you say, We've no choice but to investigate. But, Sir Alois... Be on guard. If Tomas is in league with Kranya, he is dangerous. Very well. I will quietly report the matter to Lady Rhea and leave the decision in her hands. Not a word of this to anyone. Is that clear? Well, now things are getting interesting. 
Honestly, did not see this coming. So what do you make of this Kranya? Why do you think she was at the fortress? You seemed preoccupied with her during the battle. She a friend of yours? Sadly, I wouldn't know. My memory is but a shadow at this point. <laughs> Gone, vanished, lost. I remember meeting you. But before that, nothing at all. And yet, the moment I saw her, I was struck with the most inexplicable feeling. I couldn't tell you if it was revulsion or affection. It was simply pure emotion. And here I thought I had it tough. Are you worried about me? How adorable. Oh, but I do love that about you. And so, <laughs> the Archbishop has elected I like to how they say it too. <laughs> no mas, Tomas. He has been away from Garrig Mach for days now. During his absence, an investigation of his behavior and personal effects laid bare his hostility to the church. The knights have been instructed to await his return and take him in, as quietly as possible, of course. We want him alive, so we might discover the whereabouts of his associates. I'm glad they actually believed me. If they doubted you, you would have known Ooh. it the moment they clapped you in irons and led you away. I can't stop yawning. It's actually been a while since I, like, had a nap <laughs> that I didn't have to wake up to, like, an alarm or anything. So it was, it'll feel good to get, like, a good so sleep. So who is this Tomas guy, anyway? You say he works in the library? He does. I've lost track of how many times I've spoken to the man. No surprise, Lynn. You practically live at the library. Um, so what did he look like again? Is he the big, burly one? Burly? Not even close. He's a frail old man with a walking stick. From what I understand, he's been at Garrick Mach for 40 years, at least. It is hard to imagine that he had been plotting evil that whole time. I wonder what led to his transformation. Transformation? Would someone not be noticing if Tomas changed his appearance? Correct your misunderstanding, look puzzled. Hmm? Petra, Ferdy just means that Tomas's opinion of the church changed at some point. If they were really worried about transformations, you'd expect they would turn their gaze to you. Good to know they're nice enough not to do so. So this Tomas person sent the bandits after us? What an awful man. We're lucky to be alive. You're one to talk, Bernadetta. You weren't even there. Yes. You were not having reason to fear for your continued living. Uh, you're right. Everyone, pipe down. Something's happening outside. Are they ready at the gates? Yes, sir. Every exit is covered. Well, well. It sounds like Tomas has returned. I don't know why I know this, but you need to get out there and quickly. Dish off of that word. Mention Tomas before you run off. I think Tomas is here. I, uh, I'll be right back. Wait, we should discuss this before you... <laughs> there he is! <laughs> that man down there. Lady Rhea wants to speak with you. I suggest you accept. <laughs> this doddering persona of mine will benefit me no further. What is this? <laughs> Tomas is ugly. For me, a vermin, you will pay for this. Find him! Right! And what he did was just like. So, does that mean he's got someone inside him, too? Prologue The Shadows of Adrestia. We're still in the prologue? This game doesn't start. Upon his return to <laughs> Garrig Mach, the humble Tomas shapeshifts and flees, and not even the knights of Ceres's most concerted efforts can track down the erstwhile librarian. Meanwhile, 
Edelgard seizes upon Monica's rescue as a chance to start down a radically different path than she had originally planned. Things went like clockwork with Monica. Thanks to Professor Yuritsa playing his part so ably. And equally to those arrogant fools for letting their guards down. I doubt we will see such fortune next time. Next time? Oh, don't tell me. The moment has come to take matters into our own hands at the Imperial Capital. This is our chance to finally be rid of them. But, Lady Edelgard, we aren't ready. We'll need an entire host to keep them in check. And we have one. The Church. Forgive my impertinence, but that is not the plan. You are the man who once told me to leave no sword in its scabbard. Yes, but one must also take care not to wound themselves when unsheathing it. I am sorry, milady, but this plan is ill-advised. I cannot support it. And even if I were to ignore common sense and go along, it still throws our future plans into disarray. I thought you devised countermeasures to deal with the Church. Use them. But those were meant for... Very well. Are you absolutely certain this is the path? <sighs> I am anything but certain. Yet the bandit attack in the mountains created an opportunity we cannot ignore. And I doubt the appearance of this new mercenary is simple coincidence. Plans can be rewritten, Hubert. Either we're doing this, or we're not. Will you sit around and wait for a miracle? Or will you help me seize control of my fate? I am with you, Lady Edelgard. As ever. This game already seems like it has replayability at least three times. Then let us walk forward <laughs> on this path. And this is see good. where it takes us. I apologize for bringing this to you on such short notice, Archbishop. Not at all, Edelgard. But might I ask, what prompted this sudden desire to return to? As Edelgard? does the other three houses game. Yeah, you know, the other three houses game is three games. <laughs> you have it's like Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. You have to buy each one. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> we believe one of Tomas's collaborators may have infiltrated the capital. My word! Tomas tended the library at Garrig Lock for decades, with nary a blemish on his record. I don't know about spending like 180 bucks for <laughs> for three games that take place in the same universe. And then, without warning, he drops his disguise and reveals himself to be a vile sorcerer of terrible ability. Someone at the capital also fits that pattern. A man we know all too well. And who might that be? My uncle, and regent of the Empire, Bokard von Arendal. His lordship briefly defected from the Empire before reappearing several years later. But he returned a changed man, and began seizing power almost immediately. Witnesses claim he wields dark magic in secret, and is able to change his appearance at will. That does sound suspicious. If these witnesses can be believed. I would ask that you do believe them. As the information comes from my own house, Vestra. I see. And when you return to the capital, how do you propose to deal with this uncle of yours? Lord Arendelle has the support of a number of influential nobles, including the Prime Minister, Duke Eyre. And while we have allies of our own, it's likely they'll require some convincing. To that end, we wish to bring our friends here at the Academy, their daughters and sons, with us under the supervision of Professor Yuritsa. We hoped you would consider deploying the Knights of Seros, so the Imperial Army doesn't get any strange ideas. You wish to march on the Empire? With the Church's Knights at your back? Your support would give credence to our claims. Additionally, the Knights would keep the populace in check upon our arrival, thereby preventing the city from descending into utter chaos. The more I hear of this, the more credible the threat sounds. It's clear you have thought carefully and planned well. We intend to seize the palace with our own forces, and we'll do our utmost to contain the conflict there. But we still need your help. Please. I have two conditions. The first, when you capture Lord Arundel, he is to be turned over to the knights at once. The second, our knights are not to engage in battle directly. I would have it no other way. Step lightly, Edelgard. 
Should these claims about Lord Arundel prove false, we will take action accordingly. Make no mistake as to who will be held accountable. Understood. But please know we have nothing to gain from deceiving the Church. Very well. I will summon the Knights and let you instruct them as to your plan. May the Goddess watch over you all. Well, that was certainly an unexpected conclusion to the whole Tomas saga. Thanks to his shapeshifting ability, he slipped free of the knights and escaped. Shapeshifting. Yes, that's what I said. Also, I know what you want to say next. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. Say it. Resist the urge and stay quiet. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. Are you in league with him, Arval? Where did these powers come from? If I am in league with him, no one has informed me. All I have is you, my dear partner in destiny. Still, I saw what you saw. Clearly, we don't have a monopoly on shapeshifting. And now that everyone knows about Tomas, some of them must have connected the dots back to me. At least they've had the grace to keep it to themselves. It's because they trust you. Hold on, someone's coming. Ah, there you are. Something wrong? I must return to the Imperial Capital soon for an important matter. Will you join me? Most of the other Black Eagles are coming. What's this about? I fear I must keep that to myself until we're closer to the Capital, but I promise you this. There will be battle, and you will have a chance to shine. Are you sure? I mean, these powers I have are like the ones Tomas used? Yes, that is a bit disquieting. Still, you've given me no reason to mistrust you. You could have wrested yourself free of us from the start. But instead, you chose to stay here at the monastery. You fought by our side and helped us save Monica. I think I can give you the benefit of the doubt. But here's my true proposal. If you accompany us, there's a good chance you'll learn where your powers come from. Ooh, now that is intriguing. In that case, I accept. Thanks. Monica, now playable. Also a monk. Turn really parted ways with Ferdinand. Ferdinand, Casper. I lost everyone. Wonder what sort of battle we're in here for. I should ask around to find out. Alright, I'm gonna save here if I can. We're still in the prologue, by the way. The game has not started. <laughs> but, uh, I'm gonna call it here for me for today. It's been a good eight hours. We beat all the Sonic games. It was pretty fun. Uh, oh, if I'm not back tomorrow, for sure Thursday. So I will talk to you guys later. And thank you all. Appreciate you all for being here. And have a good rest of your day slash night. Bye.